Hello our viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Vevo from Out and Proud, African LGBTI. As I told you in our previous videos, uh, we're in the month of July 2021 and we are recognizing and acknowledging talented LGBTI refugees and asylum seekers here in the UK. Today with us we have um, Pascal Owo, a professional athlete and he's going to be talking to us and telling us about his talent and his life here in the UK. Hello Pascal, welcome to our YouTube channel. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Good to see, good to see you this, this afternoon. Uh, my name is Pascal Wall. Uh, being an LGBT member and a very strong supporter of LGBTI, the, the talent has helped me a lot and uh, I think if it was not my talent, I could have not uh, come to be here right now, here in London, because uh, it has opened for me a lot of space to be what I am, mm. yeah, rather than hiding okay. from myself, mm. see, hiding from myself. So being a talented sportsman, there are lots of uh, sportsmen and women who are still wherever where they are in Africa, like Uganda and whatever, who are talented, but you find that they can't ex exploit their talent in a normal way because mm. they are like fighting themselves. Mm. They, I mean, they, if they come out to say that uh, I am the nature of this, this is how my nature is taking me, you find that they will not be accepted Mm. in the society where they live in but i'm happy here in london i have uh, interact with uh, so many sportsmen and i've raced with them who are from different sec type of sexuality and they welcomed me they are normal as a, uh, they are normal any, like any other person and uh, i feel very happy here now mm. than when i'm in a community whereby they don't accept LGBTI people. Well, Pascal, I understand you're from Uganda, a very homophobic country, and I know you have won an Olympic before. So uh, tell us, how did you use, how did you use to represent Uganda and be a gay man at the same time? Ah, uh, that's a very good question. Yes. First, I want to make a correction. I've never won Olympic medal, but I won a bronze medal, World Junior Bronze Medalist back in 1998. Okay. Uh, okay. When I was running, representing Uganda in all those international games, Commonwealth again back in 1998, Manchester 2002, Sydney, Australia, mm. Athens 2004 Olympic Games, and many more Africa games in Johannesburg. Mm. Uh, I was, because I was taking my career I wanted my career to go higher mm. but also from the other hand I was uh, I wanted my profile to be on one side because I know if I had to expose myself mm. when I was still in the bracket of uh, within Uganda mm. uh, my profile would not in, in sports would not go high mm. so I kept away I kept quiet I kept my profile low in order mm. to save my athletics career Mm. So, and I think sports help me to, 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 to achieve much up while I was still hiding away from my nature. You see? That, 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 that's, that's how I played it. Because if I had come out, they would not care whether you are a world junior bronze medalist or whether whatever, what time you run. Mm. I would be separated away or I would be thrown out of the team. And then they would say, okay, we cannot do that. This is a our constitution here, oh, this is what we believe on. Mm. Since you are in that nature, mm. we cannot accept you. So I played my sports until when I retired back in 2012. Yes. That's when I, I decided to come out and I was ready here in England. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he, I, for, for other sportsmen who are still like in Uganda, I know there are still many mm. gay and lesbians in Uganda who are still facing lots of challenges, but the, uh, this fight is an individual fight mm. and when you're fighting it, it's, uh, you have to go and speak to someone who can, uh, be, who, who's prepared to, to listen to you mm. or to try to help you. Mm. you. You may find that you go and talk to someone who 
you is going to again to expose you to the wrong people. Yeah. And this is the challenge mm -hmm. which is in Uganda at the moment. Okay. For my case, I played it. I was very good during that time. Mm. And I'm still very good, though I have retired. I still run here in London. Like the other time I was going to run for the LGBTI, if it was not locked down. Mm. Uh, maybe when the lockdown comes to go, they will organize that. But, yeah, I, I am, I'm happy now. I'm a happy man okay. staying in this ground. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, um, well, people who used to recognize and acknowledge you as an athlete, as a professional athlete back mm. home in Uganda, mm. how, do they, um, how do they perceive you now that you've come out as a gay person? Well, I have received a lot of insult. I'm abusive. I've, on my Facebook, there are so many people, whatever, in a different WhatsApp group, mm. are being abused, being called, whatever. Mm. But, I mean, they can do whatever they want to do but they, they cannot change me, mm. so they cannot change me. And uh, also I'm happy for the European, European, European Union and here in Britain and some other countries around the world who recognize gays and lesbians and transgender people because these people, mm. they cannot live two lives. Everybody must live one life. And you cannot live a life whereby you cannot come out, you are not a free person, Mm. to do what you would like to do. So um, for, for Uganda, I mean, they, they still have their own, their, their view, they have their power, and they, I don't know when will they understand, maybe mm. one day, but I'm very happy and I thank the British government and the countries like European Union who have recognized and they give green light to all the LGBT and lesbian and transgender yes. support and yeah. the protection. Or would you say you had to give up your profession? You had to give up your profession as an athlete so that you can live a normal life? Or was it? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I found myself, first of all, I found that uh, I've done enough for Uganda. And uh, on the other hand, I was even ready in a salary, mm. earning salary, uh, because uh, being an Olympian, the government of Uganda gives some money for all those athletes who have represented the country. There is a, a amount of money. Mm -hmm. So I decided to leave all that in order just to to try to be a free person. Okay. Yeah, to be a free person and uh, here in, in England. Mm. Yeah. And what message do you have for your fellow athletes or members of the LGBTI community, especially those who are in Uganda who are watching you right now? Um, for them, uh, I, the, the thing is, I, the only advice I can give them is they, they need to play their card down, right. Because you cannot, they, they cannot come out on the ground in Uganda now that I'm an LGBT or whatever. Mm. Because definitely, it's like you going to swim in a big Lake Victoria, whatever, without a flight jacket or, or without any kind of protection, or going in the front line without a gun, and you say you, you, you can win a war. Mm. For me, what I can tell them is like, uh, they have to play their card properly mm. until that time when they know that they are on the right ground mm. to come out and expose themselves. Because right now they cannot come out in Uganda because nobody's going to support them in Uganda. Mm. And uh, I cannot. Uh, do that wrong mistake of telling them like okay, okay go on the street or loom street or kampala and then uh, protest for the support of lgbt because i'm it's like i'm sending them to what to to be, to be yeah to to, to, to to risk their life mm. when there's nobody's going to try to help them so mm. for me i'm just telling them they have to play their card properly mm. to improve on their performance in whatever sports they do swimming until that time when they are now they have got whatever, whether they're in Paris, whether they're in Britain, whether they're in Australia, whether they're where, then they can start the battle from there. Mm. But starting the battle within Uganda, they cannot win. Okay. See? Because this is like winning your own independence. Mm. They, yeah, they, they are fighting for the independence. They, they cannot win that independence on the ground in Uganda. They will have to leave. And then they start the battle from where the, the ground is leveled to accept them. Uh, what are your future plans 
well not only in regards to your talent mm. but where do you see yourself five years to come uh, I personally I want to this September when all goes well I'm getting into a course university course sports mm. management yes so I want to get into that path because mm. even he, I have already seen in some some places the LGBTI and the transgender and gay and lesbian mm. they are still in a, in a sports community some of them are still what still fearful they you, you find them but they they, they are not as a, the people how they should be so I'm trying to study sports science mm. to give the support whoever is good regardless of what they do regardless of where they come from regardless mm. of their sexuality so if I finally finish this the sports coach you know, no sports management degree, I will be in a position to work in a team. Okay. And in this team I will, I'm going to work in an environment which is like an international organization or a big organization mm. which does not discriminate people regardless of their color, regardless of their sexuality, regardless of what. And I will try to contribute in, in that path. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. On the other hand, I will always, when the weather gives us opportunity, because uh, my partner was operated, mm. uh, that's why I've not been around. But uh, oh, I sorry. will always try to come and uh, if we can do some sports with the uh, African LGBTI around London, those who can mm. turn up, that would be okay. Oh, that would be yeah. good. That yeah. would be good. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, Pascal. It was great hearing from you and sharing your experience. Thank you um, very much. With our viewers today. All right. Thank you, our viewers today. Um, please subscribe on our YouTube channel. You can keep following us for more videos to create awareness uh, about all the LGBTI community. Well, there's a lot going on. We have talent. We have dancers. We have um, athletes. Well, it's just like a normal big community with people with different skills and talents and well they're open to to learning and exploring and creating awareness to all who are viewing and those who are willing to support them in all different kinds of ways thank you keep uh, following us subscribe share and please see you next time